Drop as a fucking hazard and a risk. She's pre- da, 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 da. I don't want to talk too much. It all come out in due time before the new year. Wait, did did some sort of professional company sort of do a risk assessment and they were like, "Flock a seat. We can't have her in the building because it's just <laughs> the insurance is too much." Bro, I got life insurance. I don't fucking know about her. <laughs> That's not my business. Me not dwell, innit? Uh, I, I bought life insurance uh, off the strength of a dark Romello space yeah. where uh, perhaps a relative of his uh, came on and, and sort of talked about the uh, the positives of life insurance. Convince me. Uh, do you know what? Real nigga shit, yeah. Go, man. You're actually genuine and clean-hearted. You ask the right questions. You keep everything on a positive thing. So yeah, give the utmost respect to you. I might be tweaking left, right, center, but remember, I'm a mental health patient, undiagnosed. So I might say something that don't make sense. It's up to you if you want to believe it or not. Sorry. Uh, is it? Hold on. Is it taboo for someone who identifies as a mental health patient to sort of go on spaces and sort of let loose, if you could say that, or is it taboo to sort of sit in listeners and sort of judge someone uh, who does what I just said? What was the taboo thing? And if um, it's the person with mental health or saying they're a mental health patient being taboo, shouldn't we sort of change that and be progressive? So do you want me to give you my honest opinion and answer to that? Yeah. Firstly, first of all, I didn't have no mental health diagnosis until I cracked my skull from left ear to right ear on the ground. And I spent four and a half years healing from it and adapting to the issues and permanent situations and that can change people also my little brother that killed my granddad wasn't a gang member he was a working class man and he got stabbed in his temple mistaken identity it caused him to develop epilepsy and then he ended up losing his daughter and he spazzed out had a nightmare because the government had him on wrong medication he ended up killing my granddad so that's the one main reason as to why i ended up going into the mental health hospital i don't have a diagnosis i've been released undiagnosed but they had to rectify their mistake and put me in there to make sure I didn't black out and do the same thing as my brother. Does that make sense? So basically, once you have a head injury, um, it gives you acuity to senses and you'll never be the same again. You have no choice but to adapt to your surroundings. So I've lost majority of family members and friends due to the fact that they couldn't understand my condition. They they was you see when you break your leg and you put it in a cast, everybody can see and be aware that you broke your leg. See when you fracture your skull and you get stabbed in your temple and you have a head injury, they can't see it. So people neglect it and and avoid it and act like I'm just mad. I'm not mad. I'm actually quite more intelligent than majority of these motherfuckers with public platforms that talk shit like Lippy. What the fuck are you doing for the next generation by influencing them to fucking chat shit and pretend to be gang members? And then when they go and stab each other, you're gonna sorry, I didn't try to influence you to brother, you're a grown man with how many kids? You're over 30 and done at it. I'm 28, I'm not trying to be over 30 and done at it. One thing I learned from being on it, I'm not trying to be over 30 and done at it like the rest of you. Why do you think certain men are trying to shut me down and block me? And then they're trying to shut down Dolly and block her. You can't do that. Because at the end of the day, I fucking cracked my skull left ear to right ear on the concrete ground and the video went viral. I'll upload it on my page later on. My brother got stabbed in his temple and it stopped him from being able to work and he developed epilepsy and then he spazzed out, had a nightmare and killed my granddad because he's on wrong medication. I'm still grieving and dealing with that. But every time I come online, there's some little stank pussy nigger or stank pussy motherfucker trying to draw me out and use my trauma for fucking story time. Are you fucking dumb? I ain't even using my own trauma for story time. Get paid off your own motherfucking skeletons in the closet. Are you fucking stupid? Does that make sense? Like, like imagine yeah, I didn't I even... One thing, I didn't even know the extent of how my brother killed my granddad, but here, well, I can give you my brother's name right now, and you'll see. When they put it, the media, BBC will sell the story and push it and ad- adapt to it. When I read it and I saw what the fuck they put in there, he boiled hot water and threw it all over his face and stabbed him how many times? I was not prepared for that. It broke me, and it caused me to go to mental health hospital. But bitches that flocker will come online and chat shit out like they got so many problems in their life and they lost their kid for what reason? Because you wanted to be on fucking TikTok, run up your mouth because you was getting fucked out by Sykes. You let Sykes fuck on your baby's head by next man. You're a tramp, bitch, bro. What? You, you think I don't... But, but isn't, isn't that the worst thing? Because not only are you sort of suffering from the trauma already, you sort of find yourself maybe feuding with sort of other people who have, who have sort of suffered trauma as well. I'm not saying that trauma is any more valid than yours, but do you know what I mean? Isn't this sort of the worst case scenario where you're just sort of fighting everyone, including people who are not, not in your exact position because they haven't had your experiences which are unique to you, but they have had experiences which could be and probably are labelled by them as traumatic? Um, 
Why do you think I don't really come on it like that? And then when I do come on it, everybody wants to try to downplay my thing, say I got mental health. No, I don't. I just lost my nan. And then my brother killed my granddad due to unforeseen circumstances and it got put all over the media. And motherfucker like Sags not want to be coming online, giving that information to Flocker, like say Flocker, even you ain't got no fucking right to fucking talk that shit. It's the fucking audacity. You got a fucking mom and a dad and they're fucking rich, but you come online and act like you fucking brush your gun and trap. No, you don't. You live off your fucking parents, you little bummy ass nigga. Stop the cat. That's what I'm saying. If I come online and I run up my mouth, I'm not blocker. I'm not blackmailing nobody. I got receipts all the way back to fucking teenage days because I was on the block. I'm from the block. Fuckers not from the block. Can I can I ask you something quickly? I'm no longer vulnerable. But once upon a time I was vulnerable. Yes, I was raped and sexually abused. And guess what? It's about to come out by the end of the year, which is why certain motherfuckers are trying to block me and shut me down and push push blocker. If you was really raped as a female, you're not gonna come online and run up your mouth and go around and fucking skin out your pussy to this nigga, that nigga. As a rape victim, I don't like to be touched. So hear what flocker. Suck your mum with your fake and facade lies. Cause Sykes and them man not only fuck with you because you're fucking easy accessible, little stink pussy hoe. You dumb. You never got house. You never got roof over your head. But you feel like say you can come online and run up your mouth and disrespect me. Are you fucking stupid? Like, sh don't let Sykes and Lippy and all of these ones dash you up because I will raw shoot Lippy and I'll raw shoot Sykes and I'll raw shoot every motherfucker that thinks they could try me. Sykes knows what the fuck I'm on. I got the recording where oh, Sykes, if I, I told you what the Sykes is funny, said, oh, you're gonna come and fucking kick in my front door. Da, da, da. Sykes knows what the fuck I'm on, fam. I ain't got my kids for a reason, fam. I'm outside with it. What the fuck are you not on, bro? Like, where did we go from here? Because here, well, if it wasn't for growing my thing, I only came on here because motherfuckers are phoning me, telling me fuckers on here run up her mouth talking shit about me and my family. Are you fucking smoking crystal meth? Should I joke you? Well, very quickly, very quickly, not to, not to sort of invalidate anything you said, right? So just to sort of understand the timeline, you came on here initially because you were sort of paid to do promo for the upcoming battle. <laughs> so and uh, hold on hold on hold on i just want to say because obviously you're saying a lot of things personal about yourself and there'll be some people that'll be like oh yeah we're saying things about yourself so people are going to use that as ammunition what what was hold on hold on what was the case that they they leaked information about you you didn't say any of this stuff they leaked information about you uh to sort of give flocker the sort of the edge in a sort of spaces shouting promo why do you think I'm online saying what the fuck I'm saying? Okay, so that, that's, that's the timeline. Okay. Alright, Lippy, before you be a fucking little ear, we're going to send out for Stags. Why don't you go and call Stags and tell Stags, come and call me on my other number and come up in this space? Because whenever Flocker and Dolly and everybody else is live, ain't Stags always up in the fucking spaces on the fucking... No, he's, he, he's a brand. He no, he's a brand now. No, he's no, a brand. No, there's, no, there's a man no, behind no, the no, brand, no, but he, 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 no, he, he, he's, he's, no, he's no, the brand's there. Where am I one second? I've known Sykes since I was 13 years old, and the shit that I can re release to get man out of it is deep and dark. I got all the receipts, all the evidence, which is why he sent Lippy to come and pre. Tell Sykes, come pull up in here. Because he can. I don't need to lie. I don't need to disrespect Wait, anybody. So, sorry, I keep getting DMs. They want to know if it was a PN or not, because everyone's confused. Hi, it's a PN until you go and ask Sykes and he reacts out of character, then it be proven as truth but up until he reacts out of thought it's a pn you understand everybody pushes pns on me why can't i push pns back oh because my man's in the public eye shut the fuck up Tom. it's a fucking pn whether it's true or not it's a fucking I can't PN. Lie, yeah i've been confused for the entire day uh, they, man, they, they never man, let females man. win on here. No, they never let they never let women win on here. It's always gonna be the men. The men have got to win, and they've always gonna be like, okay, pipe down. This is how it's gonna go. No man, unless you're flocking every motherfucking dick on this app, then yeah, you're gonna win. Why do you fuck? Do you think flock is flying past everybody? Because she's sucking every motherfucking dick, Lippy, Flocker, Sykes. No, I didn't mean that specifically. Not that I can uh, no, 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 say that any of those claims. No, I grow man, sex sells, isn't it? If you're willing to bend over your back and start cocky to the left, to the right, to the front, and whatever, you'll get pushed like flocker. I'm not willing to dick ride and suck pussy and all of that. So I'm not getting promoted and pushed. I don't give a hey, fuck. I about see. You know, you know, if that's a PN, yeah, just for the future, that is not a good one. 
brother, the peony that he pushed on me. I don't get it was the peony. What was the peony he... pushed on you? Because I don't like none of us. Yeah, we're all I, wait, wait, wait. I dolly, the peony that I pushed come from the bitch that he fucked that tried to kill me. The peony come from his bitch. If you kept your dick in your fucking pants, you wouldn't have all of these peons on your fucking name. So why, what... do you think, why do you think he's not online defending it? Because the peony been out there from back in the day, but he comes online and and pretends to be somebody that he's not. So because where was he, where was this PN about you pushed? Because that's what we're confused about. Because we obviously haven't seen him. Oh, Ian, he's dicking. Don't ask me. I just went along with it because he fed a flock of information that I didn't agree with. So I gave her the PN from back in the day. What? And you lot want to believe it? it? Is I don't care. No, we're just confused. Obviously. I mean, I'm confused. <laughs> The PN didn't come from me. If it was true, do you not feel like Sykes as the gun buster gangster that he is? Would not be right, I don't believe it. Right, wait, Dolly, if, if it was true, would he not be online right now defending his shit? It's a, he's aware of the PN because he pushed the PN himself. <sighs> every, every action deserves a fucking reaction, innit? I reacted off impulse and it was a drastic thing. I apologise. Do you know what it is, though? I feel like, obviously, I hear you. But this type of PN is not one that you should use in it because then it kind of oh, takes but, away from your credibility. Oh, Do you get what I'm but, saying? But, but the PN that he put on Flickr, should I play you the recording as to why I pushed the PN back on him? Lippy, do you wanna do you wanna screen record this and run it back to your master, you little pussy nigga? You're not bad for me. I'm not interested in nigga like you. Do you want me to play the PN that he pushed on Flickr for me to push the PN back on him as to why he's not on here defending it? And confirming whether it's true or not. Because he started it. Man's bitchy. Man's chatty. Every time I come online, man's online and space involved in girl business. You're a little bitch, nigga. Niggas talk more than bitches these days, fam. If you didn't run up in my business to fucking fuck, I would have never pushed the PM back on you. So don't push me. You're, you're chatty, fam. Do you understand? So I pushed the PM because he pushed it first. He had no reason to. Is what it is. Where do we go from here? I've done been drawn no. out. Do you, do you think this is sort of productive? Because obviously, I mean, it was, sounds like a sort of maybe a bad idea to sort of get a, a buzz around a, a battle. But now there's no more battle. So, I mean, fair enough. Oh, you've got, you know, you, you've got issues you want to sort of talk about. But, you know, well, where, where does it go from here? Go on. It, sorry to cut you. If I didn't get a phone call today saying that my girl was online chatting shit, I would not be on here talking to you. I don't come on here. I, don't... I have no reason to come on here. Don't pay me. The fuck? But I mean, who 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 rang you? Was it was it someone not who doesn't use spaces? He's not known on spaces. Listeners, my people are in here of watching everything. I don't need to be. I'm okay. Here. They called me and said duh, duh, and I came on and duh, 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 and it went the way that it went. Duh, duh, duh. I'm not disrespectful. If I make a mistake, I'm willing to rectify it and accept my and take accountability for the fucking mistake that I made. Do you understand? But I pushed the PN that should have never been pushed in it. But my man's aware of as to why I pushed the PN in it. Sorry if I made you guys believe that it was fuckery. And I realised I pushed the PN way too far a little bit. So, yeah, it's not that deep in it. But my man pushed the PN, so I pushed it straight back. But I might have took it a little bit too far as to where you lot are saying, oh, that's deep. But my man knows as to why I pushed it to that extent. Because he did what the fuck he did behind closed doors as to why me and Flocker ain't battling. Because my man's in the middle, come my man won't feel like he might have get a fight over. I mean, I fight over now, man. I mean, I fight over block. Like, no, nah, I can't lie. Yeah, we need to we need to hear the PN because I need to make some sense of this. Sorry. DM me your number. I will actually live or phone you. After you need this. to follow me back because I need to hear this. Yeah. I do. DM me your number. I'll live or phone you and play you the recording of the fucking because I got pre warned to stay the fuck away from you as well. Which is why I followed you and I'm following you and it's like, oh, imagine following someone, following them. Well, there, I followed her and I followed her because I thought you was acting like you fuck her. No, you don't. You're just jamming it, begging it online with everything. Hold on, me, hold on. I'm a married woman. Hold on. No, it's like this pussy the pride, bro. He's not that guy in real life and I'll prove it, bro. I could go all the way back to fucking 2011, fam. Stop playing me when Josie died. Stop playing me. You are all fucking faggots, fam. Not you, Dolly. Sorry, these niggas from the ends. Wait, I'm actually so. Do you know what's so mad? You know, I'd be minding my business. This is crazy. Wait, 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 one sec, one sec. Who's Shia? She is cool. She's cool. 
I, no, there's no darkness on me, Shio. You can DM me and I'll explain everything in depth because everybody's adding Chinese whispers. They added their two pence. But if you really want to understand me and know my situation, you can DM me. I'm all for the truth. I live my truth. I'll speak to you happily. Like, I ain't going to fucking hide. Do you understand? I'm all over the fucking newspapers. Bro. My brother killed my granddad. You fucking mad? What the fuck have I got to hide? What have I got left to lose? But my freedom. Do you understand? So if there's one thing I can do, I can use my fucking experience and trauma and what I'm going through to educate people and put it out there. I'm not perfect. Nobody is. I made a mistake and I'm trying to rectify it. Is what it is. Mm. Does that make sense? I remember I'm not on Twitter. I'm not it, it, it does, but there'll be some people in the audience they will be like, oh, so what, everything you sort of said for the past hour, uh, whatever, isn't isn't true, or it's just a PN. Yeah, or... I'm, 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 mental health patient. I'm new to Twitter, so yeah, like, just bear with me. I'm adapt. I'm learning trial and error, and it is what it is. So yeah, if you, if you can make sense and got common sense, you'll be able to read in between the lines and realise, oh... My girl's actually hurting and going through shit. She's grieving. The fact that she even opened up her shirt or certain things about her brother, can I grab the, the, the She can give a fuck about any one of you lot. The fuck? You lot pay my bills. You lot suck my pussy. Do you lot cook for me and feed me and wash my front? No, you don't. So why the fuck do I care whatever the fuck you got to say? Exactly. So eventually, um, due to I will go in depth in my story, innit? And it will make sense because my shit's deep and I'm grieving. I'm going through certain things and certain people feel like they can try to troll me, draw me out, provoke me and get me to react and act out of character. I'm trying my hardest not to do that. Do you understand? So yeah, I'm, I might become emotionally unstable and whatever here there, but I'm going through a lot. Majority of people ain't going through it. Imagine explaining to someone, your brother killed your granddad. The fuck? 